I spent $33 testing Kling's 2.1 models, what works, what doesn't, and stress testing with actual production work to show if it's worth your investment. My goal isn't to create pretty demos, but to find the breaking points that matter when you're deciding whether to try this. In this video, I tested every single feature, burning over 3,800 credits, generating 100 plus videos for $33 total. Let's dive in. To get real answers, I tested from two angles, all of Kling's features and different scene complexity levels. All right, let's get started. I've got all my prompts ready in Notion. Let's see where this breaks. First, no dialogue, no complex movements, just a woman playing a lute. Looks fine at first glance, right? But look closely, she's playing with three fingers and holding it like she's never seen a musical instrument in her life. Next, let's test something even simpler. No dialogue, just a character looking into the camera as it pans right. In first attempt, Kling randomly adds characters I never asked for. I requested one person, got two. That's credits wasted on unpredictable behavior. In second attempt, Life's stuck. The character is speaking dialogue in God knows what language. So I thought, what the heck, let me add English dialogue explicitly. Here's what I got. Me at Chad Wise, it's chill right back. Even with English in the prompt, you get Chinese. Sure, you can use their lip sync feature. This storm may be fierce. But that looks completely unnatural too. Finally, I tested realistic movement with a gymnast doing a balance beam routine. Her face disappears midair, and when she lands, her body literally breaks physics. Her hands bend impossibly. Those are the landmines. But here's the thing. When you avoid people and dialogue, it actually delivers some impressive results. Simple atmospheric scenes with no people like northern lights, stormy skies, serene landscapes. This stuff works consistently and looks beautiful. Underwater footage looks like usable content you'd actually want to include in your projects. Creative content like these miniature scenes are perfect for children's stories. Simple product videos work well too, as long as you completely avoid any text overlays. Their virtual try-on feature could replace expensive photo shoots. You can choose from default models and clothing or upload your own and use the results directly on your website. Add in space scenes, nature footage, all consistently good. All right, so I know what works and what fails in isolation. What happens when you try to create something that actually matters? A complete project with narrative flow? Take a deep breath in through the nose. Thunderstorm steps through the area overnight. Let it go. Me and Chad Wise, it's chill right back all these now. And out through the mouth. And slowly open your eyes. This cost me $13 and $1,500 credits total, including all the failed attempts. I also spent five hours building the concept, breaking this one minute story into 21 specific scenes from a woman in meditation through her wandering thoughts back to peace. Then seven hours writing prompts and generating videos, plus another four hours editing and cleaning up mistakes. That's 16 hours total for someone with experience in prompting, video editing, and storytelling. So it's not just money, it's time, patience, and technical skills. Let's talk about the problems I faced. Simple meditation scenes worked 90% of the time. The breathing wasn't perfect, but I could live with the results. But anywhere I included specific movements, disaster. Woman supposed to open her eyes, she didn't. Asked for walking, she started running, woman capturing her dog playing, six retries, 
all failures. Woman checking time on her right hand when the watch is on her left. So my entire $33 got me about 20 usable videos and 80 learning attempts. To help you plan better, here's how Kling's pricing actually works. The free tier gives you 166 credits, but be careful, a single 2.1 master video costs 100 credits, so you get maybe one to two videos. Standard costs $10. I got it for $7 promotional, that's 660 credits which I burned through in three hours without getting enough content for my project. Pro at $37 gives 3000 credits and I burned every single one on this project plus some testing. Premiere at $92 gives 8000 credits, but if you're doing serious work, that won't last either. They also offer one-time credit purchases if you need extras. With my experience, I can honestly use this here and there but given the retries and energy required, I wouldn't use it extensively. But if you're willing to invest the money, time, and resources, here's how to stay in budget. Generate your image in ChatGPT 4.0 first. It's cheaper and gives superior results compared to text to video that costs 100 credits for five seconds and 200 credits for 10 seconds. Then animate it in Kling. Plan your scenes in advance. Break complex stories into simple scenes, one action per scene. Avoid physics-heavy transitions. Write prompts carefully and use their built-in DeepSeq R1 model to improve them. It works most of the time, but other times, even improved prompts can't save you. So after this extensive testing and analysis, here's my honest take on when this tool makes sense. Use Kling for simple content like atmospheric scenes, product B-roll, and content where things like physics, dialogue, or unpredictable results don't matter much, like fantasy scenes or children's content. It's also solid for e-commerce virtual try-ons. But avoid it completely for anything with realistic human movement, text overlays, or professional presentations where mistakes cost you credibility. In short, if you're someone with money and time to experiment and can invest in post-production editing, Kling is an option for you, but if you need reliable professional content on deadline, this isn't ready yet. All right, that's a wrap on my complete Kling testing. What about you? Have you tried Kling yourself? What was your experience? If this video helped you make better decisions with Kling, join my Patreon to get access to detailed prompts, testing notes, and the content that I can't share on YouTube, links in the description. And if you want me to test another tool, just leave a comment. I read every single one. Don't forget to hit the like button and consider subscribing. See you in the next one. Glasses off.